also your first Connecticut Woo! Super Saturday. Welcome, welcome. Um, I just moved here last November. Love it here. I've also been coaching for about 16 months, and it's been honestly one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. So if you aren't a coach yet, you need to sign up. But I have five fabulous coaches up here, and we are going to talk to you about how starting and finishing a beach body program has changed their business for the better and how it's made a positive impact on their personal transformations. So I'm gonna have each coach introduce, their, introduce themselves and can you please talk about how long you've been a coach and when you decide to become a coach and the programs that you have done. I'm gonna pass this on. Uh, hi, Jason Kahn. I've been a coach just uh, over two years, and um, yes. <laughs> um, I became a coach because I had used the products for about four years and just absolutely loved them and wanted to try to help other people and make some money. Um, I've done all three P90X programs, Insanity, Rev Ads, T25, 21 Day Fix, Extreme, Body Beast, IO Size, I think I've done 11 programs start to finish um, and dabbled with some others. Hey, you know, I'm Steve Kuspich. I've been a coach since February, so it's about nine months now. I've completed P90X, about two or three rounds of P90X3, also completed T25. Sorry, a little nervous here. <laughs> it took me probably about a year and a half to decide to become a coach. When I did all the programs, I didn't know anything about the coaching opportunity. I bought off, my wife bought off basically the infomercial. And then um, first I just thought it'd be a good idea to make some extra money. Now it's blown my mind. It's the thank yous and everything else you get from people. It's way more than money. It is amazing. <laughs> coach for nine months. I've done 21 Day Fix, 21 Day Fix Extreme and Body Beast. And I really just became a coach because I wanted something else to do. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica Pippen and I've been a coach for just a little over two years. I completed T25, Alpha, Beta, Gamma. Um, I completed P90X3, 21 Day Fix, 21 Day Fix Extreme, Pio, I dabbled in Combat and a bunch of other ones. Um, in the middle of body beast right now. How does it help your business? It helps my business tremendously. Um, being in the programs and getting, um, like, being able to post and be authentic with people and encourage people because I'm doing it myself makes a tremendous difference. Posting those photos from the beginning, I, like I posted my first five weeks and you could see like no difference, but I saw a little difference and I was proud of that and happy to post it for sure. coach for a little over a year and I actually became a coach before I lost any weight. I started at 240 pounds so I've lost 75 pounds as a result of being a coach and along the way I've been <laughs> and I think becoming a coach at the beginning of my journey helped me with accountability but it also helped other people realize they could do it too because I was doing it at the same time. Um, and I've done a slew of programs, 21 day fix will always be my baby though, because that's what's gotten me through this weight loss. So I don't care. Thank you so much. Hey coaches, what was your breaking point in terms of deciding to commit to changing your health and fitness? Um, my break point came way before I was involved in each body. Uh, it was way back in 1997. I remember I was sitting in when the chilies used to do all you can eat fajitas, <laughs> I ate a lot of fajitas. Uh, and I drank a lot of beer, and I was sitting in a movie, uh, in a movie theater with some friends, and I couldn't move. Uh, my pants were so tight, and I had to unbutton them. They were two, at least two sizes bigger than the ones I'm wearing now, and I walked out of that theater, and I was absolutely miserable with myself. And that's, that's when that light switch for me. It started with an ellipse, it started with a typo, um, not making it through those 20 minute rounds, dying, and it built to P90X and, and where I am today. I was a big drinker, a big partier. I've been on 
on probably well over 50 pounds since I had lost him from high school. And, uh, my wife had just, before we were married, had recently moved in with me, and one day she, we went to bed and she lay down and she said her stomach hit the bed before anything else did, and she was like, no, no more of this crap, we're done. And I was like, you know what, you're absolutely right. And that was it, and she said that, you know, she was right, and we decided to make the change. in my life. <laughs> um, I, had, I had a bad car accident when I was 21 and put on a little over 100 and something pounds. And um, so the journey started way back then. And slowly, I would get a little bit better, a little bit better through the therapy and stuff. But then it got to the point where I couldn't breathe, couldn't walk up flight of stairs, could barely move my right side. Everything kept getting worse and worse. So I, you know, started my journey and then I was training with a trainer, probably, I don't know, about a year. Lost no weight, lost no inches. Spent thousands of dollars. And then one night I was up in the middle of the night, couldn't sleep, and 21 day fix came on. <laughs> and I think I tried everything else, I'm gonna try that. And there I am, so I too am down a little over 75, 80 pounds. For me, it was after I had my second daughter. Um, I had been fit through my whole first pregnancy and pretty much all my life. I enjoyed working out, I did the Thai at home, I went to the gym, uh, but my last pregnancy, I was not able to work out because of our schedules and selling a home, buying a home, moving, all that stuff. And so after I had my daughter, I was just a wreck and I kind of had just submitted to the fact that this will be my new mom body. And, and then one day I said, no, that's, um, this will not be my new mom body because there's the mom with some rocket um, and I, you know, and so I, for my anniversary, I was invited to a T25 focus group and my anniversary, I asked my husband, I said, will you, will you buy this for me for our anniversary present? I need this. And I started it all. So I had a bunch of moments that should have been my breaking point. Um, the one that I think should have was when I was behind life insurance because of my weight. Um, it should have been a problem when I couldn't walk to play with my son because my body hurt. Um, but the thing that actually broke me was silly. I was in the water trying to water ski. And you know, since the age of eight, I was always able to water ski no matter my weight, even at my heaviest. So I, I had always been heavy growing up. And I sat in the water and I cried. And I thought, I can't do things I love anymore. And that was my breaking point. You know, the insurance, I kind of squirreled those papers away and pretended it didn't happen. But sitting in the water, I realized this is real. This is my life. And my life's not happening now because I'm letting my weight and my health get in the way. So that was my breaking point, sitting in the water, smashing the water um, out of frustration. Hey, thank you. When did you complete your first program as a coach or as a customer? I'm gonna pass this off to Maria and to Kim. I completed my first program September of 2014, 21 Day Fix. <laughs> and I actually started T25 as a customer. I did about a month of it, but then I gained weight because I kept eating and eating because I was exercising. Um, so then I became a coach at the very same time that I started the 21 Day Fix and my life changed. I completed the 21 days. I had a couple friends actually, some of whom were in the audience, that they signed up with me as their coach even though I was just starting too and together we did our first round together. And it worked. <laughs> How has your life changed as a result of the programs, and how do you use this when you're relating to your own customers? Um, I'm easily in the best shape of my life. I actually weigh four pounds more than I did when I graduated high school, uh, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> um, uh, it, it just allows me to do so many things now that I never thought I would be able to do at this age that I, if you had said to me at 22, about that fajita. Um, and this has just changed my life in so many ways from the ability to help people to meeting the amazing, amazing people that are here and just giving my life, giving me a, a confidence and that in a way I just never had had before. 
It's, uh, this has changed my life a lot. <laughs> I play a lot of um, hardball, softball. I play in between summer and fall, well over 100 games a year. My wife loves it, I'll play it now. <laughs> but uh, it, it used to be, we played double header games on Sundays, and by the time the third inning came around, my legs used to be like jello. I couldn't walk, I couldn't run, I could barely make it through a second game. Now, I just go and go and go, and I want to keep going. And he's like, what's wrong with you? This is over 30 minutes ago. Play per game. <laughs> and, and, uh, and I still get my workouts in in between games. I'm going to be 35 in two weeks, and I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm 10 pounds less than when I graduated high school. <laughs> a lot of my results and experiences with my customers, potential customers all the time because uh, when they see that you've had success with it, they know you're not just trying to give them some bad thing and take money from them and get off on all the way. So having that uh, relationship with them helps a real lot. I think the biggest thing for me that changed my life was changing other people's lives. When I start, dropped the weight from 21 Day Fix and, and I think it was Greg, actually, that was like, we need to put that on Facebook. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll put it out there. <laughs> and people started contacting me, and then you start hearing their story that is mind-blowing, the things that they've gone through. That, in and of itself, has changed my life. And when it comes to high school, I'm four sizes smaller than I was when I graduated. <laughs> Um, for me, I, well, I mean, one day I was, before I started, I couldn't push my girls in the stroller for a walk without getting winded, and so now I can cruise with that stroller, um, and they are four and two, so they're heavy now, um, is one thing. But honestly, it's really about empowerment. Um, yes, I've had a physical transformation. I squeezed into my junior prom dress and took a picture and put it on um, Facebook, and people are like, whoa! <laughs> um, and that was kind of funny, but um, it just, I feel so strong and empowered and my mind has changed. There was a lot of body hate that was going on before I got involved in the beach body community. Um, regardless of the sizes and the numbers on the scale, which are really good and they're better than they were in high school. People noticed that my 20 year reunion last fall. <laughs> um, I, I, just being, being strong in my mind about this whole process and about accepting who I am. Just recently I put a post out on Facebook saying, you know what, I'm a little heavier right now, but I, like, whatever, this is me, and I'm cool with where I'm at, and so it starts with being cool with where you're at. And then the business part, just people saying, wow, that's really inspiring. Even when they don't, you don't think they're watching, they're watching. Every once in a while, those people are like, I've been watching you for a while, and I see what you're doing, and I'm so inspired by it. So even when it doesn't seem like anybody's watching, they are, they totally are. <laughs> So personally, the biggest thing that the 21 Day Fix changed for me, and I say 21 Day Fix because I've been following that nutrition pretty much for the whole time, is my relationship with food. So in the past, I've struggled a lot with my weight, and I was able to lose weight by exercising a lot and eating not a lot. And the 21 Day Fix sort of put exercise there and eating here, and you do both, and they're not related. You don't get to exercise for five hours, so you can eat a cake. You just kind of live your life in a healthy way. Um, and then also as a mom, so I was working full time, super stressed out, not happy about working full time, and I didn't have a lot of time or sleep. My son was waking up every two hours um, for close to a year, and um, I was exhausted. And um, and I was able to commit to this program. It was 21 days. It was. 30 minutes a day and I started to see success and I started to share that success and it's helped me in my business because a lot of who I interact with is other moms and they look at me and they say, hey, if you were able to do that, I'm really swamped too, but look at you, you did it, I can do it too. And, um, and it's just awesome, like Maria said, to be able to empower other people and help other people and let them know through your story that they can have a story too and they can be successful too. How has your business changed when you are following a program from start to finish? Steve and Jessica, you'll be answering this. Um, I think mine's actually changed pretty greatly because you just have that one-on-one -on -one connection with your customer. You're doing the same exact things that they are. Um, you relate to them on a real personal level. Like a, like a lot of them, I've like, got a lot of guy friends doing P90X and P90X3, and they all, well, 
we'll, we'll keep it PG because there's kids in here, but when they get to the yoga stuff, and then we have Kennedy Street, Ted, we have some very choice words for Ted. <laughs> and, uh, you just, uh, yeah, Ted in his chair, exactly. Like, you can just relate to them so they know what you're talking about and they know you're in this with them. Um, I know that I feel way more confident when I'm doing program um, start to finish. And I mean, even if I'm not doing the exact same program as my customers, and I think that's another question that we have that we'll address, but when I'm doing program start to finish and following it, and I have the before and I have the after, because I doubt, I exercise all the time, even when I'm not in a program, I'm still doing the programs. But when I'm like posting, okay, I'm starting, I'm nervous, but I'm gonna do it, and then I finish and I can share that, Man, that makes the biggest difference for me in my confidence and then in the people that I reach out to because I can show them like straight up, this is start and finish and you can do it. It is possible. I'm just as busy as everyone else. Thank you. Okay, last question. Do you share your results publicly and how does this affect your ability to inspire others? Everyone's answer, I guess. Um. I share most of my life publicly. <laughs> so yes, I, I share my results publicly and whether or not I get customers or coaches out of it, it allows people to see that I'm, I'm real and I'm human and build relationship, relationships through that and allow people to see that if I can do it, they should be able to do it and they should try to do it and you know, hopefully inspire someone to take that chance. Yes, I now share uh, my results publicly. Uh, it took me a very, very long time to get the courage to actually do that because I hated my before picture, just like most of us do. And uh, it was my wife and my brothers really told me, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. And the response I received when I did find the post was amazing. I think I got more likes and comments on that photo than I did on our wedding photos. <laughs> uh -oh. I lost 46 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had lost 46 pounds on this so far, and uh, my blood pressure had dropped from 186 over 96 to 112 over 76 in this current moment. My doctor told me I was going to die by 30 if I didn't change. Uh, my total cholesterol at its worst was uh, 259, and uh, now it's down to 112. Yeah. Yeah, I was on uh, three medications a day, for two for blood pressure, one for cholesterol. I've been taking off cholesterol, and. Uh, I'm currently, hopefully, in the next six months, coming off one of the blood pressure medications. And so, uh, yeah, sharing the results has been immense, and definitely share the results. I really didn't want to put my before picture on Facebook at all because most of my Facebook friends have known me probably my whole life. And at one point, though, when I got to my largest, I wouldn't, I wasn't around. I kind of like. Thank God it wasn't Facebook back then. But I did share it. I shared it because I got a private message from someone who I'm not friends with <laughs> and said, you're putting all this stuff out there and I'm only showing the, my face picture. And she says, you're mean. And I thought to myself, am I really mean? Am I really that mean? I was like, so then I went from that to, yeah, you just pissed me off. So my before and after picture went up and my inbox then blew up because I wasn't alone on that kind of a journey. And it, it just was a phenomenal conversation with people who just, who needed me to make that step. As much as I hated um, the before pictures, when I took them, my mom and I were in my driveway and we have these big, large garbage tipper barrels that they come and get. And when the neighbors drove by, I literally dashed behind the barrels. Like, why? I don't want the neighbors seeing me standing out here in my you know, workout clothes and the sports bra. And of course, every neighbor went by at that time. Every <laughs> single one of them was like, damn it. Um, but yeah, I, when I hit that five weeks, I was like, pictures, I, I've shared every five weeks. I have not been shy about sharing, I love it. And, and I love the encouragement that comes when people are like, way to go, that's awesome. And I love the private messages that say, you're really inspiring me, and I never thought I could do it, and maybe I can do it now, so absolutely. Um, I had a coach on my team who had this beautiful transformation. I mean, her pictures were amazing, and she was just so afraid to share the before picture. She's like, the before picture is so ugly. And I'm like, but people don't focus on that. That is not what people see. They see how you've changed that. And she never shared it and it broke my heart because I think that it would have blown her business out of the water. 
for sure. And yeah, I absolutely share. Um, the first time I took pictures, I didn't look at them. I had my mom take them. I wouldn't let my husband take them. And I had her email them to me and I didn't look at them. And I finally looked at them when I decided to put them on Facebook. It was probably after a couple of months and then I turned Facebook off for like maybe the whole day because I was terrified. Um, but again, the thank you is for people for sharing, for being open and honest. And, um, and beyond pictures, I shared good days and bad days. And I openly share, oh my gosh, it was my son's birthday. And I ate 10 cupcakes. What that, like that, why did I do that? But then I share what I do after. And it's the what you do after that motivates and inspires other people. You know, you're not going to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. And if you say you are, you're lying. <laughs> but you're not going to be perfect, but it's what you do with where you are. And even sharing photos of yourself, we all look different, but I share my photos to encourage other people. If you look in the mirror and you look like I do now, or you look like I did a year ago, or if you look like I did six years ago, who cares? That's where you're at now, and what are your goals, and where do you want to get? And, and pictures are the most visual way to show people, but I also try to encourage people that it's not about the pictures, it's about how you feel and the health and the life that you gain. And those pictures are just a visual to show how far we've come. But I do think they're important because they let people realize that they're not alone. And it doesn't make you a bad person for being overweight. It just makes you a person, so. Hey, thank you coaches for sharing your amazing story. Can we just give one big round of applause? Thank you.